conservative pick. Right. Get ready to make some money. Uh, wait for it. Here he comes. Ben, going to keep on printing. As soon as that news came out yesterday, 2 p.m. Eastern time, we got an email from the judge. Boy, he was steaming. He's here. Judge Andrew DiPolitano. You know, I was, in, I was in the D.C. Bureau yesterday and everybody was uh, commenting and, and you eventually did as well on, on Neil Cavuto. I think you, you really agree with me, which I don't want to admit it for the sake of this conversation, <laughs> uh, that the market had a remarkable turnaround when Ben Bernanke unexpectedly announced that as a swan song to his friends who like cheap, easy, free printed cash, a.k.a. the Wall Street crowd, he would buy another $85 billion uh, worth of uh, bonds, basically creating that money out of thin air. This will produce a bubble. This is artificial. How is this money going to be paid back? How can we possibly claim this is prosperity when we're passing along printed valueless cash from a, a bank that has the authority to do this to the pockets of profit takers on Wall Street? May I explain? Sure. You say, how will this be paid back? It doesn't get paid back because it's not borrowed money. The Federal Reserve has a big chunk. I think, hold on, it's got about three trillion dollars in the coffers, right? Because it's been putting it out there. It's been buying paper and paying money for it. That puts money into the economy. Where did it get that? Oh, hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, it prints it. Hold on. Thank now you. it's got three trillion dollars <laughs> in the coffers, and when it wants to reverse that, it starts. It starts selling the paper that it's got pulling money back in. It replaces it. Got but it? This will produce another unsustainable bubble, an artificial, government-orchestrated, unnatural accumulation of assets in a place where it doesn't belong. You said that, that, that you, wait, 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 you said that, uh, I don't know how many years ago, when this money printing started, what, four or five years ago? It'll create, create inflation. Where's the inflation? Well, I didn't say create an it would create an inflation. I, I may have said that. There's no inflation now. Inflation is less than 2%. The Fed wants more inflation. Right. That's how wacky they are. They want prices uh, to go up. But it did create a bubble, and it will create another bubble. Where's the bubble? Which well, I created the, the bubble of 2008 was a housing bubble, not orchestrated by the Fed, but orchestrated by the government manipula manipulation of the market. Lend money to whoever you want, and we'll buy the mortgage. You think the take all the profit you want because we'll print the cash? That is unsustainable. Is this a stock market bubble? I identify the bubble. I can't exactly identify the bubble, but I can see something coming when profits are taken on artificial cash. Suppose Janet Yellen stops the printing. What will our friends on Wall Street do? Down, 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 down. You but I, I will tell you this. I've done extensive research. In the last two times the Fed hiked rates, we pulled back one time 7% and the other time 5%. Then we turned around and we had rallies of 44 months and 70 months. My problem with the Fed, to be quite frank with you, uh, Judge, is... The money doesn't get to Main Street. It does only get, they, they, yes, they're, they're, right. they're giving the federal government money. And they're giving like the big crazy, banks and money. And they're giving the big banks money. Correct. But people watching the show haven't gotten a crumb out of that money. And yet they are on the hook for any risk that are created by this. Yeah. They do have, got, uh, they've got a lot out of this. Oh. Have they got a 401k? Have they got college savings? Have they got an IRA? Have they got a pension? The real wages have gone down. 401k generated by an announcement on a Thursday afternoon that the Fed is going to print $85 billion, $85 billion more dollars is an artificial increase that cannot last and cannot be sustained because at some point, at some point the printing must stop. Agreed? At some point, the printing must stop, and it will be. Reversed. Otherwise, all the cash we have will be utterly valueless. That's your prediction. Well, it's not my prediction. Yes, it is. It's it's the it's it's like saying two plus two is equals four is your prediction. I think the if they keep printing eighty five billion dollars every month, eventually, what's in our pocket will not be able to buy a loaf of bread. And the irony, of course, is that they want it to be worth less. Yes. They want it to be worth less so that we can, multinational corporations can compete on the global market and, and that kind of manufacturers can compete. Do you, we can't have do it you both share, ways. Do you share Bernanke's goal that he wants more inflation? I, I'm not uh, the subject of this discussion. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. I'm just the right. moderator between you've actually, you've actually, two actually You've actually yeah. brought the two of us uh, very close. My it's skepticism incredible. about the Fed is, is far deeper. Uh, than Charles, his, I wish underst the Fed didn't his understanding I mean, of the I'll evils of the Fed is far greater than mine. Listen, I'm just saying, I wish the Fed, I'm with you in a sense, I, don't, I wish the Fed didn't exist. I think the idea of these soft landings, and let's face it, this is what we're always trying to do in this country, engineer a soft landing. Okay, if, if, hard landing if Bernanke better. had laryngitis and didn't speak yesterday or took the day off, do you think the stock market would have gone up after 2 o'clock? 
Um, I don't know, but it, it would have been a 300 point less, reversal less, because of an announcement that we're going to print fake yesterday, cash. Yesterday, the Dow was up less than 1%, and today it's down. I mean, it's at some point, I, I think, you know what, the Fed, whatever they're trying to do, they failed. And it would have been mea culpa for him to start tapering yesterday. He had a chance to sort of admit that he failed. Wall Street was ready for it, he didn't. He made the problem worse, not better yesterday. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let's get to a little reality to intrude here. Uh, Janet Yellen is almost certainly going to be the next chairman of the Federal Reserve. Seems I think that's, that it really does seem like that, odds on favorite. Therefore, she is likely to keep on printing at least a lot of money, not necessarily $85 billion a month. Right. So do you think that this end to the money printing when, when do you think it's going to come? I mean, you say it's going to have to come well, at some point. Nobody well, wants, no, no president wants it to end on his watch because every president would like Correct. this artificial belief in prosperity while he's in the White House. Except Ronald Reagan, who backed Paul Volcker mm -hmm. 100 tough, yes. tough choices. Yes. yes. And, and long term oh, and prosperity. Oh, so close to returning us to a gold standard. Now, I said that to give you a little heartburn. <laughs> Dream on, Judge. Dream yes. on. Ron Paul's never going to become the chair of the Fed? <laughs> I seem to have lost yes. control when, of this when, discussion. When Rand becomes president. <laughs> yeah. All right, Judge. You made your point, and we listened to you. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Pleasure.